Welcome everyone to my channel again. My name is Jakes and I'm as you all know, and today we have a challenge on um, depreciation. This is our first set of uh, challenges on depreciation. Okay, now we produced about uh, 60 to 80 videos on algebra already. Is it only on algebra we produce challenges? No, we've done that because of the uh, demands on that particular topic okay and uh, much demands are on algebra hence we have taking time to really produce more videos on that uh, topic but today we want to take the first mathematical challenges on this topic which is a uh, differentiation okay but before we go into today's challenge if you're new here kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button also to use this medium to uh, thank uh, mr kelvy okay mr kelvy you'll be wonderful You'll be wonderful. We really appreciate that which you've done for uh, this platform. Okay, every one of us at Online Mass TV say we love you and we'll keep on loving you for that which you've done, and your story will be spread abroad. Okay, and remember, we also tell your story to progenitors. Okay, all right. So without much waste of time, let's go into our today's challenge. Here, we take solution, then. So now we're going to use the formula method in handling these challenges before us here, okay? Now in subsequent time or other time, I'm going to use the first principle to differentiate this now. Okay, we we'll take our first challenge. We have your question one, which is your y equal to x to the power of 3. Now, there's a formula we use in differentiating our polynomial equation, okay? So the formula says... Let's put it down here that your y, if you have your y, which is a function equal to, let's say, x to the power of n. Then our dy, dx, which is change in your x with respect to y, we give us here your b all of our change bracket your x to the power of n close bracket. If we differentiate this function we have here now, we're going to have something. That is our dy dx from here is going to give us here your n x to the power of n minus one here. Now, if you look at this carefully, the power you have here now is brought back here, which is this. So what happened to the power here? You remove one, this one, from this power here. Okay, definitely the power will reduce. And mind you, if you differentiate a constant, it's going to give you zero. That the question is where is this one coming from okay this is a constant that in every differentiation you carry out you subtract one from the power so we succumb to this rule using this formula method what would be the answer to question number one so our number one we have our dy dx the number one is equal to what we're going to have this three we comes back so we have three x to the power of 3 minus 1. So this will give us here 3x to the power of 2. That is the answer. <laughs> as simple as A, B, C. Okay? All right. So with this again in mind, let's take our question number 2, which is a fourth degree polynomial equation. How do we differentiate this? So we take our number 2. We have the function is y equal to the 3x to the power of 4 plus 2x to the power of 2 minus 4. Good. Now, we can now differentiate this or our dy dx, this we now implies. So if we go ahead to differentiate this, we're going to have our dy dx is equal to, we have 3 times, this 4 comes back, this, okay? Then into your x to the power of 4 minus 1. Then plus, here we're going to have here 2 times 2, close bracket, into your x to the power of 2 minus 1. And of course, this will give us 0. Okay? So from here, we're going to have this to be 12x to the power of 3 plus 4x to the power of 1. This is the change in x with respect to y. 3 says y equal to 2 square root of x 
minus 1 all over x. Okay, now if we look at this, we can rewrite this square root and also rewrite this according to the law of indices. So we're going to have y equal to 2 into our x to the power of 1 all over 2 minus x to the power of minus 1. So we're having y equal to your 2x to the power of 1 all over 2, the minus x to the power of minus 1. So if we differentiate this, we're going to have our dy dx is equal to, bring this back, we're going to have 2 times 1 all over 2 in bracket to our x to the power of 1 all over 2 minus 1 minus bracket minus 1. This one calls back the close bracket into our x into minus 1 minus 1. This will now give us, these two we go with these two. So here we are left with x to the power of 1 all over 2 minus 1. And 1 all over 2, if we are to carry out this operation here, yeah, we're going to have this to be x to the power of minus 1 all over 2 minus, this minus multiply this minus will give us plus, then we have here x to the power of minus 2 because minus 1 minus 1 will give us minus 2. Okay, now we apply the law of indices again to rewrite this. Change in x with respect to y, we're going to have this to be your 1 all over x to the power of 1 all over 2 plus your 1 all over your x to the power of 2. Okay, so this is our answer to the x very well. Now we take the last one and the last one which is number 4 because this is a function of a function so we're going to use the formula which is um, uh, dy dx this will give us here our dy du times your du dx okay so this is the formula for our chain rule okay which we are going to apply to do this in other words we have to bring in u from this expression here so we'll let you to be everything we have inside here so we now call it as a let let u be equal to 2x to the power of 2 plus 7x plus 3 okay very easy so if we said let u be equal to this what will not be this function and so this function will now become y equal to u to the power of 2. Okay, now let's differentiate these two functions we have here now. u as a function, y as a function. Let's differentiate them. So let's continue on this other side and see what this gives us. We take the first one, which is our y. So if we differentiate our y, in other words, we want to find d y du so we have here dy du is equal to 2u so this guy comes back and we subtract 1 from the power here we're going to have this okay there again we also find our du dx so change in x with respect to u is for this guy here now so if we differentiate this this will give us here your 4x subtract 1 from here is going to give us 1 so plus if you differentiate 7s it's going to give us 7 good now from here we cannot go ahead to bring our formula which is this so our dy dx we have here dy dx is equal to what is our dy du look at our dy du is 2u so we have 2 u dot what is our du ds look at our du dx is we put this in bracket 4x plus 7 close bracket okay now at first we don't have u so what is our u here we said let u be equal to this so let's put this expression back into this so can i have this to be therefore our d y dx equal to 2 into 
x square plus 7x plus 3 close bracket into your 4x plus 7 close bracket this is our answer okay so this is all i have for you for today if you get something from this uh, video give the video a thumbs up and if you have any question with regards to this uh, three challenges we've just solved on differentiation also drop it in the comment section now these are the elementary uh, challenges under differentiation okay just to prepare the way um, we'll be going into a deeper form of differentiation okay where we have um more rhetorical challenges more rhetorical questions from differentiation okay this is online mass tv remember i love you so much all of us at online mass tv love you so much thanks for always be there bye for now